Okay, this morning, guys, we're going to welcome a new pistol to Scuba's Corral. Scuba went out and got himself a short barrel 9mm, just like I promised I'd do this summer. And we're going to do some short barrel 9mm ballistic testing with it. I got myself a Glock 26, as you guys see there. And today, for the first round, breaking it, breaking it in, it's already been broken because I shot the hell out of it yesterday. But you guys didn't know that. We're gonna shoot one of my favorite, Critical Duty 9mm Luger, 135 grain. This has got that polymer flex lock tip in the front of it. And the part number is 90236. We're gonna fire this out of that Glock 26 through four layers of denim in the calibrated gel. Let's check out how this baby Glock works, guys. Okay, guys, here we go with that 135 grain flex lock. Let's check it out, guys, out of the Glock 26. Baby Glock. Here we go. Go check it out. Okay, guys, here's that side cut of that Hornady Critical Duty 135 grain flex lock 9 millimeter round. Remember, this was out of a short barrel. Didn't stop this round from doing its job, did it? About a half inch in. Rapid expansion. Look at that. Cutting in. A little bit small in the expansion department, but, you know, the, the Critical Duty and the Critical Defense line, they're not known for, like, major numbers when it comes to expansion. They just work every time reliability still cutting in i mean that's dumping a lot of energy right there a lot of energy we're, we're dealing with let's just say the one inch keep on going down keep on going down the eight inch dumping a shitload of energy right there a hell of a lot of energy getting dropped right there and then it starts to streamline right out about that nine inch mark goes on down to that 20 spot but there it is guys the critical duty nine millimeter this is just regular not plus p or anything rated at 10 15 we'll see how i get it rated i did find the polymer tip right there actually believe it or not this is the first time i've never seen the polymer tip following the bullet or right up in front of the bullet i found this a couple inches back so it sneaked out on us this time tried to get away but we got it Okay guys, quick little post here. Critical duty, nine millimeter, regular pressure, 135 grain flex lock. You guys seen that today? Short barrel test. We started some short barrel test, nine millimeter. You guys been asking for them. I did get a, a Glock 26. We're gonna do the short barrel out of the Glock 26. I got a bunch of short barrel nine millimeters. You guys seen in the beginning, I posted a couple up there. This is the one I decided to use in the short barrel testing. This is probably the most popular short barrel 9mm, that and the LC9. I personally don't like the LC9, so I didn't buy one. I bought this instead. I'd rather have a Glock than an LC9. My personal opinion only, I'm not knocking anything that Ruger does. I love Ruger, don't get me wrong. Let's get back to Hornady and their critical duty round, 9mm, 135 grain flex lock. Pretty damn good round today, guys. Now, remember, this is out of a short barrel, so we got a lot of penetration. 20 inches, to be exact. But as you guys noticed, that didn't flower back all the way like we've seen in some other tests with the Critical Duty. It still flowered back pretty damn decent. I'm not, I'm not knocking that whatsoever. Hell, average expansion 469. 481 was the max. Nothing to shake a stick at there, especially out of a little 10 plus 1. I'll take a 10 plus 1 all day long. Wound track, pretty damn nice. Half inch in, max expansion out, all the way down to about 9, 9 and an eighth, and then it went on and it streamlined on down to the 20 inch. Nothing to shake a stick at, guys. This is what you got. Out of a small little package like that, you got 10 of those little bad boys, 10 plus 1 to be exact. Nothing wrong with that, guys. Nothing wrong at all. Critical duty, 9mm, 135 grain flex lock.